Well, uh, my attitude, like media, is a big issue, obviously. And my attitude toward all of that is the culture is toxic. Like, here's the thing. Like, probably Esalen is the place where the idea was born uh, that there are healing images, that you can heal your body and your mind through the images that you hold in your head. But I never heard a really intelligent discussion of the implication of that. If there are healing images, there are destroying images, there are sickening images, there are toxic images, and uh, you can bet which are being pervaded uh, in the mass culture because uh, the purpose of capitalism is to imprint its products in your mind and shock is an excellent way to do it and the two areas where as a primate you can be gotten at most quickly is in the area of sex and violence and so these themes for commercial purposes are just played like crazy so my response to all of this is to er is to say it's a mean war is what it is it's a, a struggle over how shall the world be seen and felt. And as long as you're just consuming the memes coming down through the toxic distribution system, you're a victim and a mark. And so what we have to do is produce, produce, send stuff up the wire. And that's why I think the web is so fascinating. And as I said, I think of it as a uh, 60 million channel TV. And uh, so whatever your bent is, you should put your message out there. And uh, we should all produce as much art as possible. I mean, I think the leisure and the indulgence that is permitted us the super rich of this world and we all are in that class the upper five percent of the earth's population uh, you can't live with yourself unless you give something back and the thing to give back is uh, share your art share your soul the reason we are so controlled and abused and misused by our institutions is because we are divided from each other you know, they have divided us by race, by class, by sex, by political style, all of these ways, when in fact, you know, it's in everybody's interest to have a future, to build a world where children can be uh, raised with some reasonable expectation that social, you know, humanity will be uh, preserved. So these mass media uh, things, radio, television, and newspapers that have arisen in the last couple of hundred years, this is where a very small group of people uh, literally set the agenda for millions and millions of people. It's called top-down or one-to-many communication. Uh, what the web holds out is this thing called any-to-any communication. You and I can form a secret society. We can form a secret society of 10 people. I can send email to 10,000 people if I want. Uh, the playing field has been tremendously leveled. And then the quality of what we produce can tip the balance still further. Uh, so I think, uh, and the tools that are put in our hands now, uh, you know, director, Photoshop, all of these things uh, make it possible to communicate outside of these print-created monolithic institutions. We can't really even imagine a world like that.